Hey Capricorn, so this is your summer solstice reading for this summertime. If this is your first time being here, thank you for being here. Make sure that you like this video. If it resonates with you, subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you can receive all the videos that I am putting out here on this channel. And yes, this is the first time I've done that since I've been recording these videos. And it would be a, the Capricorn video when I remember to do that. Okay, so Capricorn, the it's interesting. The when I asked what was the energy for the summertime for you guys, um, salt and pepper came up, shoop. Um I want to shoot, baby. Oh my goodness, look at him. He's coming this way. Oh, and all of, you know, um, I can't remember the words. I, I listened to the song before I did this and I, I can't fully remember the words, but go listen to that. But what it's feeling like is that you are feeling very bold this summer or somebody's coming at you very boldly. Maybe you have a lot of bold people around you, but you're already a very bold kind of energy. You know, you have Pluto there and your sign in retrograde and um, yeah, it is really transforming you in a way that is um, taking you to another expression of self than what it is that you have been expressing yourself under up until this point, up until all of this time, you know, and really um, getting cultivated, getting, feeling comfortable within yourself in a different way than you have before up until now. Okay, so yes, yeah, just feeling very bold, very, um, up front, you know, not so much. Uh, Capricorns are normally traditionally traditional or more so reserved, but not always. It really just depends on when in that bracket of the 30 degrees that you were born, right? And how it is that you express yourself and the degree that you express yourself under, you know? So, um, because the song, I had to pull up the lyrics. Here I go, here I go, here I go. Girl, what's my weakness, man? <laughs> so you may be really uh, indulging in your in your summertime fun, right? Um, maybe a, a hot whatever summer, with whoever you are, you know, watching this and really just embracing that. Not necessarily taking a break from the work um, that you do so well, but definitely making time for all aspects to be able to show up in your world for you and, you know, provide you with some fun. In that video, they are at the beach and they just having a good time scoping out men. You know, if you were a woman, you just may be like, hey, you know, I'm just going to show up and um, I'm going to be calling. I'm, I'm out here calling, you know, and if you're a man, you may be on the hunt. OK, as y'all do so well. <laughs> OK, so either way, however it's showing up for you, it's definitely um, speaking to having a good time, regardless of where you are with that. So let's see, Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? And I thought it was very fitting that that for that song to come up, for Salt and Pepper to come up, because Capricorn, y'all are y'all are feminine energy, but y'all are are a different kind of feminine energy. Um, not I don't want to say more masculine, but more y'all just more active. Y'all are more logical, basically, and salt and pepper is they they feminine women rapping so that that kind of tends and lends to the same kind of expression okay so this is interesting you have neptune and gemini in the 10th house wow and so you are making some really big dreams come to life um like doing like making it happen being very creative with that really focus on your reputation and your public image, but having um, 
having a good time doing this, having fun. Like I said, you know, feeling very bold um, in a sense, trusting the universe, trusting in God and in, in supporting you in bringing these things to life and building this, relating with people who also, uh, who understand that aspect of you, who build in the same way that you build. Um, it may be very free spirited, you know, very, very heart based, very soul expression of yourself. The 10th house is your house, right? So your energy is the forefront of this. It's just manifesting in a very Gemini fashion, right? In a very, um, even in a very Neptunian fashion so something spiritual something maybe being a messenger this summer right and in sharing your light with others um really supporting others the the collective consciousness in some way in regards to their mentality their perception of things okay and um how this can support them wow these these the, what's here facing me, um, how this can support them in their relationships, in relating to people in their work, right? You may be helping people tap into the infinite possibilities, um, or you more so just tapping into infinite possibilities within yourself um, in forms of creation. Um, you may be connecting with business partners, um, of a spiritual nature. You may have a lot of spiritual people on your side to help support you in building what it is that is happening here. You may be coming into, you, your business may be growing in a sense to the point where you may have to hire employees. You can hire, thinking about hiring employees or you may just be getting a new job that um, really suits you, that that is um, very lighthearted in its nature, in a sense. You know, um, what's the best way to put it? Uh, a lot of movement. You may also be making some moves this summer that are bringing you a lot of long-term stability, right? Something, of, something you've been fantasizing about, something that you've been deeply desiring right that work that that correlates with who it is that you truly are your individual nature right this is like your genius coming to life um something that you can only do in the way in which it is that you do it right you may be getting into music maybe rapping <laughs> that's interesting Okay, let's hear. Yeah, wow. Okay, so you may be also healing over some heartbreak in regards to relationships. Um, maybe just moving forward in, or this could be just bringing, okay, let's start from the beginning. So the first card that came out here is Miss Ida. And she is the, the high priestess, right? And this is coming out under Neptune. So you are really in, you are really the, the what, ha, what is hidden? What is secret? What is um, spirit? What is of soul? Karmic situations. These things are healing, but they're also supporting you in, in this movement it is that is taking place in your life, right? Because this movement that's happening is helping you heal. It's helping you, um, it's changing how it is that you show up in relationships. You know, Capricorn, y'all can be kind of, uh, I have a Capricorn moon, so I get it <laughs> before I say this, but y'all can be kind of, uh, I don't know, stoic in a sense, or just seeming like y'all don't, y'all not feeling anything when it comes to emotions, but y'all are really tapping into the depths of who it is that y'all are, what has been hidden from you, and, and really tapping into the space of unconditional love. Um, there may be a woman or again, a spiritual teacher helping support you, some spiritual knowledge it is that you're gaining. Um, this like maybe sacred wisdom it is that you've attained along the way of your journey through healing, right? Um, 
a lot of y'all may just be having a lot of suitors as well, just like on a very practical level um, and, and having people come in and, and you may be finding, figuring out what it is that you want in relationships in your world um, or what, what, it, what you want your commitment to feel like. You may be experiencing a lot of prototypes this summer you know, like, uh, could be it, but that ain't it kind of energy. But this is also helping you heal from past relationships and allowing you to really find, again, what it is that you desire in when it comes to your emotional nature and connecting with her. And this can even be within work partnership. It doesn't necessarily have to be in love. Granted, Sometimes we love people we work with too, but if this can be that, this can be just be relationships with ourselves. Um, I do want to say take care to not be so caught up in trying to escape from what it is that needs to be seen, that is trying to come through to you, the messages that are trying to come through. You have the five of baskets here, so you're taking time to get in touch with your intuition uh really connecting with those messages that are coming through um you may be healing from some familial wounds um that you've had in the past whether this is through siblings whether this is just through close family shifting your perception on relationships as well um and you may also be coming into a new some new ideas your ideas about your personal business that you have that you may have is shifting as well and it's supporting you in really being able to um tap back into your innocent nature right that that space where the infinite lives that space where you are are inspired truly inspired all inspired by who it is that you are right but also changing your perception on what it is that you have been holding in 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 understanding and knowing when it comes to relationships up until this point and the disappointments it is that have come about from that that is supporting you in being having your eyes open to be able to not be blinded to the truth of who people project themselves at in the world. Because, you know, sometimes uh, uh, people be, be wearing masks, right? Which is something I feel like that you can kind of understand in the same sense because Capricorn is the mask wearer or the archetype of the mask wearer, you know, wanting to show up in a way that is very, um, beneficial uh, to supporting another like you know y'all are the boss all right so y'all the leaders of the pack y'all rule the structure y'all rule um the disciplinarian and all of that all of those things but at the same time it's and it's usually those experiences, those heartbreaks, those disappointments, those disillusionments that really puts Capricorn in that space of getting into that very stoic energy. But that's a healing is taking place in that and moving on from that. And so underneath the 10th house, we have the father of nine. So you're getting very clear on what it is that you want, what you want your legacy to look like, right? And in attaining the knowledge it is that's going to support you in building that. You may just be in the space of coming into mastery of what it is that you've been building up until this point. You may be feeling very sure, um, like there is nothing that can change your mind kind of thing. And you are protected in doing this, okay? Um, you know, your clarity is on point. You couldn't, it, the, nothing but the truth can stand in this space, okay? And, you know, just being very certain, even just moving through the ways you have disillusioned yourself into believing uh, any particular thing, especially when it comes to connecting with others and, Oh, okay. Especially connecting with others in work, <laughs> right? So you may have been um, in the past been dealing with uh, entities who show up as one thing but are the other. We have we. I feel like we in this time in this space of dealing with a lot of uh, people showing up as Neo, right? Wanting to be Neo, but they really Mr. Smith kind of energy. That's what this is giving me. 
right? Because um, if, if we take a look at Mr. Smith, he is the 10th house, right? And, and Neo is, is Neptune, okay? So with that, um, the practicality of Mr. Smith is always trying to outweigh that, that, that need for disconnection of Neptune in order to see the light, to see the truth, right? And not really be in this space of trying to escape from the reality of it and being able to cut to the truth of the matter, like what is real here? Who, who really knows what they what they talking about in regards to what it is that they're doing? It's probably you, Capricorn, <laughs> because you know, when it, when it comes to integrity, um, Y'all are the ones who are willing to, to change the game when the game is running on falsehood. And with Pluto being there in your sign, that's strictly what you're doing. Wow. So yeah, this is about the connections it is that you made. You got the human myth here. Human myth is about connection. This Brad Dragon is reading a book on humans, right? Because they can't, it's like, it's so fascinating to them that humans are a real thing right? Kind of how us as humans get really caught up in the ideology of the storytelling of the myth of what is hidden, the, 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 the magical creatures and everything like that. So this is a number nine and really seeing, it, it's almost like one needing to connect with others in the truth of who it is that you are, not being in that space of feeling like you need to hide yourself. But this is also about going within. It's a number 63. That is Virgo and Hermit energy. Okay. And you have the moon dragon here at the bottom. And so the moon dragon speaks about what is hidden. It's a lot of information. You are Capricorn, you know. Y'all are ruled by the devil card in tarot, right? And the misconception with the devil is that it's actually the devil. The, the devil archetype in the traditional Rider weight deck is the Baphomet. And the Baphomet is the complete, complete man, right? It, it's kind of hermaphrodite energy. It has a penis, it got breast, right? But it is just speaking of wholeness of being and the ability to create and manifest earthly material possessions from all aspects, bringing both sides together, the idea and the action and making it happen, right? But um, it, it, it also lends to that side of perversion, right? Of kind of what it is that we experience in our reality with, with the laws and the structures it is that rule. But you see the truth in this. This is what this is, is, is speaking to me. You see the truth in these things. You, in, in, it may have, in trying to, to attain an understanding of living out this truth, it may have brought you experiences and connections that have been misleading, right? But you are, this summer, you, you get it. you like, <laughs> no more. I see it for what it is, okay? So this is also about the human myth. It's also about keeping the faith in, um, and keeping it going, all right? It is also, let's say, it says when we must recognize our unity with all existence. What a pity to waste so much time denying our own place in the universe. Sometimes our daily reality gets in the way of our being able to feel connection with spirit. This is when we need to read an inspirational book or do some meditating or maybe just walk in the woods and feel the connection to everything around us. Remember that all things are connected. Everything you do affects all else in the universe. All action and thoughts set up a vibration that continues on long after the event is forgotten. Yes, you do exist and yes, you are connected to spirit in all of creation. Remember that with a single thought, you start a process of creating. Create something wonderful for yourself. All of creation will reap the benefits. So, okay, and with this, um, uh, so it is also with this Gemini energy with this five of baskets together. This is like you, you had to experience this these things, this past, so that you can recognize how it is that you created this with your mind, right? With how it is that you have been thinking, how it is that you have been perceiving, okay? And really taking the time to um, recognize the emotions that these thought forms have been creating, right? 
that that these the emotions that have been creating these thought forms as well because they both play on one another right and how this has kind of uh created whatever narratives it is that they have created within your world but you're changing this story this summer these things are are leaving it's like you you understand you know even even when we see in mr smith know that that too is a reflection of some part of us Right, it's all it, it's all part of us. It's all expressions of us. You know, they say they have however many myths, like what, 26, 22, however many, um, playing out at all times, right? And the, these are just parts of ourselves, right? Some people want to take on full stories and good for them. All right, but one thing Capricorn is good at is seeing the full picture and, and being okay with being who it is that they are, right? When they are not caught up in the whole ideology of a oh, way in which a thing should be going, right? Which is normally fairly easy for Capricorn. Y'all are usually very willing to um, go with the flow and change when it's needed. So, okay. <laughs> So you guys, you got the water nymph. All right. The water nymph, she says the first step to wisdom is understanding. So again, like I was saying, these experiences, you had to have them so that you could understand. Okay. One second. Okay. So, um, yes, you also may have been, um, you may be also showing up for others right in in their hard times because you you've kind of you were in this place of mastery this summer for real um in this space of having experienced a lot and this understanding has given you a lot of insight which is what the water nymph speaks about you you it's offered you the motivation the inspiration the confidence it is that you need in order to make something real make your heart-based efforts real what was that baby not yet i'm almost finished okay um and you know <laughs> this card is also about charming so people may be charming you you may be feeling the need to charm others okay <laughs> but it says like the usual usual like the usually benevolent water nymph, you can be in danger by someone putting on a deceptive show. The perpetrator may be dragged down to his or her own death once you can clearly see the situation for what it is. The sun will be set, the sun will set on someone who wants to cling to your light before you a bright new dawn will a new day will dawn. You will possess the power to end something or gain control. You will not lose something that is being challenged and will succeed by holding fast to your original plans. A journey will be proposed to you and your dearest wishes will come true, will come within sight of fulfillment. So what you're reaching for, what you're garnering up at, in this time, it's happening. But yeah, it's a lot of deception right now around you, um, Capricorn, uh, especially when it comes to your public image and you showing up like you are, you were the father of knives, okay? You have a lot of information to share with people and people see that light, like the father of knives is a really bright light. He shows up and he's supportive of people. He's fair, he's just, he's balanced. You know, he only sticks to the facts. It's what's true and what's real. Okay, so um, recognize when people are trying to uh, utilize your relationships to their benefit, right? Don't don't let people, don't let no succubus, don't let incubuses come through and try to take you for what you got or whatever. They can't, they can never do that, but you know, a fester feed on you, right? And that that usually is the Mr. Smith energy, all right? Because they they operate from a place of darkness. They need other people's light, light in order to, to manifest, to succeed, to continue on, right? In what it is that they they are doing what it is that they are trying to carry out so take care in of those who it is that you have around you because um people don't be caring it's that simple all right so um the bottom card that you got is the ass ray and she says without a rich heart treasure it's less likely to be discovered okay so um 
it's, it's about discovery, right? You are recognizing this, this magic it is that you are, who it is that you are, right? And getting really acquainted with that this summer, all right? And that is let, let your light be your guide, your guide. Um, the Capricorns, y'all have a very strong intuition, all right? People always say, granted, I've met a lot of Capricorns who who don't be into the whole spiritual thing because of the whole practicality of who it is that they are. But at the same time, I've met ones who really be in it, all right? And when they in it, they in it, okay? So because they, they y'all are illogical. Y'all, y'all can put it together and, and bring true understanding to a thing based off of the, the way that y'all's energy is set up. I, I'm not, like I said, I'm a Capricorn moon and I still really don't understand it. I just know it, it can be done kind of thing. You know, it's, it's just, you know, you just be in yourself. You, everything's a mystery. <laughs> that that's what you are okay so if anybody is an enigma it's a capricorn all right because y'all show up like y'all sharing everything and don't be sharing a thing what else is here what crystal for capricorn for this summer energy i'll pull this first card okay so one you really need to you it's almost like um you may be taking a break from something that requires a lot of thought like maybe in regards to this disappointment these disappointing situations it is that you've experienced right um but it's offering you the ability to see what needs to be done in order to protect yourself all right so for the summertime you got copper capricorn so it tells you to energize your whole world. Who needs it is anyone with the proverbial defibrillator paddles. <laughs> oh, okay. So you need to uh, pump up your heart, your heart chakra, basically, is what they're saying. Okay. Or you spend a lot of time doing that and having to almost force it, right? So it's time to come out of the force, right? And just let it be this Neptune and this Ida energy. So use it when it's time to pack up an old idea of who you are and ship it out for the good, move on, renewed with copper. One thing, Capricorn Capricorn has strong boundaries, which y'all are really good at, at giving. Y'all are great givers, all right? Y'all are great support systems. So what I'm getting is that you may have been doing that too much. All right, you have so much to give, Capricorn. All right, you're you're never um, granted. Some Capricorns do be harvested. All right, but I know a lot who do not need that. All right, because they that operate on their own supply. And the Capricorn who is watching this, that is who you are. Um, and it, it's it's in a sense time to take a break from that. Okay. So, and not in a break where you're stopping, but witnessing how in the way in which it is that you're going about it and the type of energies that that is calling into your life, right? Um, and it, it, you have in your relationships, tact. So somebody feeling is going to be hurt. I speak with act. I speak and act with care, remembering that impulsive words are harsh tone. One moment, you got Okay, so it says, remembering that impulsive words or harsh tone can sometimes hurt others. If it feels like I'm walking on eggshells, I remind myself that those eggshells might actually be a shop full of china. And I might actually be a bull, then I'll remind myself to stop mixing metaphors. <laughs> so, you know, whatever you got to say, just be open and honest and say it. And it seems like that you may be saying it publicly. You might be saying it outward into the world because... That father of knives comes out under the 10th house. And one thing that I know about a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius is y'all do not have much tact when it comes to, uh, they don't, I should say. I'm saying y'all because you got this Gemini and air sign energy here. But they don't have much tact when it comes down to saying things. Maybe maybe Libra sometimes out of out of keeping the peace but once they get to saying a thing they don't care okay so 
that's coming out under that 10th ten, ten house and father of knives. So be as kind as you can, you know, but sometimes, you know, unfortunately, sometimes some people be needing their feelings hurt in order to really see the truth of the matter, right? And everybody is not willing to do that. But Capricorn, you are, you, you like the, the jokester of, of truth, right? Always got a word, but but placing it in a joke, unlike uh, Aquarius, who just be joking and, and hurting people's feelings, but really be serious and don't be caring how anybody feels. Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue. What else is here for Capricorn Spirit? Story of my life. So you are changing your narrative. You're changing your story. You're going within, seeing the truth of how it is that everything has become, right? In, in rewriting your story, you're telling yourself a different story. Uh, as I tell myself the story of what's happening in my life, I choose to make it the kind of story where even the tough parts have a sort of inner beauty. It's ultimately a happy story where every character, no matter how wicked, is doing their best. And let me tell you, it'll be worth it when I earn that Pulitzer Prize for the best inner monologue. OK, so in, in the story is all about what you tell yourself. It's not really even about anyone else. You don't have to share it with another because it, it, at the end of the day, it don't really matter what somebody else thinks about your story. OK. What else is here for Capricorn spirit? It's all about you. You're changing this subconscious energy. Well, wow. Got, got Pluto here. So you are rebirthing. You are, are ending old cycles, letting go of old karma, anything. You got Chiron here at the bottom. Okay, so anything that you, you are just... Okay, so you are moving through old karma. This may have been something ancestral for you, right? So being this, this showing up in this way, being this type of person, um, this very giving, loving kind of person, open-hearted and, and, and sharing your world with others and kind of have bringing, brought you a sense of disappointment. But, you know, it's been, not only has it been of the mind, but the mind is of the nervous system and what travels through us uh, that comes from our ancestors is the nervous system energy. It is the workings, the wiring of us, right? It's the, the blood. So these things are transforming into a new light. You are seeing yourself differently. And granted, the world may not see you differently or they may just notice that you show up, showing up differently. Okay, but that's about it. You're not really... Um, you were just letting what is done be done and no longer con concerning yourself about what it is that is going to, how it's going to make another person feel for one, but also um, it's just not concerning about what, what is being lost, right? And nothing's truly ever lost. When we let go of a thing, we gain something new. Right, so your world, your outside external world is also gonna be shifting in regards to this too. Like you may be coming in, this may open you up to a, uh, a lane of success that you may not have experienced, have yet to experience, right? It's gonna be very magical, very magical because you have Neptune here and Gemini here, which is a magician energy, okay? So, so going to be definitely something and then you have the high priestess here and and pluto here so that's like very secretive very hidden occult knowledge excuse me things that are are supporting you through this this may even be in regards to those aspects now this could just be you know spiritual um spirit spiritual practices spiritual commitments uh devoting yourself to your spiritual path as well what is here okay so you have the queen of onk so this is about life uh this is about life being fed into you right the queen of onk in the middle here this is the venus comb okay in the venus comb it, it speaks about um being able to receive information receive more information than um than you may already have so 
This is about your inner fire, originality, and memory, not access. Considered a channel for prophecy where we access the astral plane, do astral projection and astral travel. It governs our ability to transcend space and time and allows us to access the Akashic records. The Venus comb expands our ability to receive more advanced information. So yes, definitely tapping into that Akashic energy with this, this Neptune, High Priestess, and, and Pluto all with one another, right? now you got this human myth here, all about connection to all, right? And seeing how all things kind of play, play its role, take its time um, in, in what is due, in a sense. Um, and seeing that everything has its place and purpose, even if uh, it, it's, it doesn't serve, it, it, it teaches that lesson that's needed. But you're also seeing where it is on a deeper level, even like maybe you may even be um, having visions, dreams from past lifetimes that are um, showing you, this may even be coming up in your meditation, that are showing you the way, in a sense. Okay, so you got two gypsy cards that came out, and you have the anchor and the lily. So you're getting very grounded, very rooted in who it is that you are um, when this wheel turns, right? Coming into balance, having a very, feeling very fulfilled in life, very happy and harmonious, right? Um, also answering the call that it, that belongs to you and really to put, willing to put in the work, the effort that is going to uh, support you in, in coming out on the other side and putting old things to rest. The bottom got the coffin here. Okay, and this is, um, what's, what's dead is done, all right? Closing the casket and, and burying it, really. Letting the earth have its way with the remains, you know, and, and making it sacred allowing the journey to be what it has been up until this point you know again no love loss Sagittarius got this card yesterday flipped out so share your voice come out of your cave persecution expression maybe you are sharing your experiences with others maybe you are um showing up and and just sharing with people close to you whoever it is it's, it's time for you to speak up it's time for you to get out of that that darkness that Capricorn can be in sometimes. I know some y'all y'all are really predisposed to things like um, depression, right? Because it can be heavy. Um, a lot of y'all are that energy of subconscious patterns, habits that come through and kind of bring ruin, right? Capricorn energy is very heavy. It's very dense, right? It sometimes is immovable. And I'm, I'm just seeing that from experience and, you know, you are moving out of that into if that is where you are, right? And, and if not, you may just be sharing this with others and helping others get to the other side of that, being an anchor for others, right? Being the flowers for others, offering flowers to people why they are still here and it's showing in those flowers showing up as you, Right, and you know, because that Kanye West song, We Are the Flowers, I don't know what, I think it's called Roses, I don't know. Um, but he speaks about being the flowers of your love to your loved ones or something of that nature. I can't remember at this moment, but that's in interesting that that song came up because <laughs> he's a Gemini too, and so. Yes, it's all about the truth and what is what is true. <laughs> wow. And it says warmth here. And so tapping into a sense of warmth within yourself, um, connecting with others. It's a, at the bottom, you have self-worth. Show everyone what that you can do. So if you've been hiding, it's time to come out so that you can be open to that. So it says a new voyage will fill your life with untold memories. So things are definitely shifting for you this summer, Capricorn. 
if they are not already there, okay, you are having a lot of new relationships coming to your world. You are having relationships leave your world. You are changing the story and the narrative of who it is that you are, your life, okay. And this is these things are moving. They're they're happening happening quickly and randomly and out of the blue kind of energy. Like oh whoa, <laughs> like I got blindsided by that. Let me let me sit with that. See what's going on here. You know, but. This is helping you tap into the warmth of yourself. Maybe that voyage, uh, the voyage conjure box that we have in Lizzie's Charm that may be supportive of you because that ritual is, it, it really hits on a deep level, uh, really showing you things that you may not have been able to see, right? That are helping you move forward in movement, right? So it, it's, it's a really blessed kind of energy all right so capricorn i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there i hope that this is helpful for you i hope that it blesses you and supports you through this summer energy and yes i will see y'all in the fall all right bye